In a new world of virtual campaigning, not much looks familiar in politics, but one thing remains the same, money. Everyone from ordinary citizens to PACs, super PACs, and corporations is being asked to dig deep this election cycle. Everybody talks about the small donor, but they have very, very specific people cultivating the elite big dollar donors. And of course, some candidates can kick in their own money too. Donald Trump will have all the money he needs to run his presidential campaign. But why donate? Ideology can influence some donors. There are also organizations that generally support one party or the other. So for example, uh, the NRA has a, has a PAC has a, that's allowed to give money. They tend to give money to Republicans. When you follow the money, it can throw up some surprises. For example, Joe Biden has received over $2 million from Mitt Romney's former company, Bain Capital. Oracle founder Larry Ellison is one of the few Silicon Valley-based tech founders who hosts fundraisers for Trump. Most of this liberal group are supporting Biden. So the Democrats have a ton of money coming in from the super elite liberal wealthy. Some corporations will donate to both sides. Experts say the reason for this has less to do with politics and more to do with business. Money buys you access. And that's what these people need. They need to be able to get their calls answered. They may as individuals have an opinion, they support Biden, they support Trump, but representing their company, their corporation, they need to make sure their calls are answered. 